it's Michelle. Welcome back to Golf with Michelle. Today, I'll be talking about the half swing. In order to enjoy golf, it will be great for us to actually hit it solid and sweet. So how are we going to do it consistently without overthinking? So today, I'll be sharing you guys some techniques on getting to a proper half swing, yeah? But before getting to a proper half swing, I will start off with some small swings first. So before we start this practice, I would like for beginners to actually prepare like a short tee so you don't have to be too worried about hitting it solid first instead of just practicing and focusing on body motion. I assume that by now you guys already have a proper grip, stance, posture and alignment. Talking about a little bit about alignment and stance and posture, I just want to make sure that your elbow, your knees and the balls of your feet are in, in one line. So that will be a very good um, posture. Make sure you have a good grip and make sure you stay relaxed. So first of all, I'd like for you guys to tee it up first. Because we are practicing on a range, so we have to make sure that we tee it up so we always hit from the same uh, position. So even though your feet, if you, if you set up to the ball and have a good uh, set up position, I would like for you to also mark where your feet are. So you can either use a tee or even use a alignment stick, which I have one over here. Just try to set up like this or even put a tee down. If you're on the grass, you can poke it in. If not, you can just choose to just lay it down on the ground. Okay, so from here, where we set up properly, grip stance posture, we're gonna start with half swing first. But how are we gonna get into a proper half swing? We need to make sure our takeaway, which is what I call the small swing, is correct first. So first of all, I would like for you to poke the butt of the club, to poke into your belly, hold it a little bit lower down the shaft, bend over to a setup position like this. And you guys can see this triangle over here. I would like for you to just move it back and forward. I actually really like the, to use the clock. So this is eight o'clock and this is four o'clock. So I would like for you to, again, set up like this, the butt of the club against your belly, bring it to eight o'clock, finish at four o'clock. You can see that my chest is moving with the club. So we have to make sure that we're always staying connected. We do not want to actually take the club and make the club points, the butt of the club points down the target line for the takeaway. We're gonna make sure that we stay connected, proper takeaway, follow through, all right? So when we get into the small swing, grip stance posture, when we get to eight o'clock, it has to feel the same. Like you have to feel like there's a pin behind the butt of the club pointing at your belly. Take it back at eight o'clock and four o'clock. Just moving like that, okay? Then when you master this already, I would like you to extend it a little bit longer. But from eight o'clock, I would like for you to just turn the hips, turn the chest a little bit more. At this point, you will feel like your right elbow is slightly bent. And from here, I want you to have a slight push motion. So from here, we're gonna be pushing our left hip a little bit forward. That means transferring our weight to the left side a little bit. Why we can't just get from here and turn right away? Because if you see that if I turn right away, you can see the club hit is coming more from the outside. Then we're gonna start hitting a little bit more outside in. Can you imagine if we have a longer backswing, it's going even more outside in. So we just have to make sure when we get to the backswing, we have a slight push motion. So from here, it's gonna be somewhat parallel to the ground. The club is parallel to the ground, elbows slight bent. You can see that the club face is in line with my spine angle. From here, I'm gonna just push through. It's gonna look somewhat like that. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the ball from here, get it somewhat parallel to the ground and just push through. So at this point, you start to feel like your chest is starting to point somewhat a little bit right off target. Hip is still a little bit right off target, but weight is starting to move towards the left side. So this will be your small swing here and push through. As soon as we master the small swing, we're going to start moving on to the half swing. All right, the half swing is literally just slightly more extension of the small swing. How is it going to look like? It's going to look somewhat like our left arm is parallel to the ground on the back swing and then our right arm is parallel to the ground on the follow through. So we can see that we're creating like a 90 degree angle over here and also a 90 degree angle on the backswing. Okay. One thing that we really need to be careful is when we start having our swing getting longer, we tend to start to get a little bit disconnected from the body. 
right? If we, if we do so, we're going to lose our timing, rhythm, coordination, and of course, it's going to be harder to repeat. So it's really important that we try to stay connected at all times. Right? So for the half swing, let's talk about the back swing first. When we get to our small swing position over here, our really nice small swing position, from here, I would like for you to turn the chest and the hip to the right and slight extension on the right side until our left arm gets parallel to the ground. Okay, so it's going to somewhat look like that from down the line. We have a good takeaway. All right, small swing over here. And then from here, I would just like you to hinge the wrist a little bit until the, fore, until the arm gets parallel to the ground, the chest and the hip is going to start turning with a little bit of extension on the right leg over here. So from the front view, we can see that our knees are going to move, our knees are going to move a little bit somewhat downwards and inward. Okay, so once again, back swing, small swing, start to hinge the wrist a little bit, turning the hip, turning the chest until the club gets parallel to the ground. From this, from this side of view, we're going to make sure that the club actually stays in front of our chest. It doesn't go behind us or it doesn't go too far forward. So we have to make sure that we stay connected and then hinge in order to get to this position. But then if we start with our hands getting disconnected from the body where the bottom of the club points down the target line, we're going to start getting flat. And the arms will get behind you or some people tend to just bring the arms out without turning the chest or turning the hip so just be really careful you have to make sure you get into the small swing position first hinge and then extend the right side with a slight shoulder turn and hip turn all right after we master a proper half back swing we're going to talk about the down swing so before we start i would like to explain that for the lower body for our down swing we're using our hip our legs our knees and our feet so our knees, first of all, it doesn't wobble like this. It only moves forward. Our knees only move forward. So like I mentioned earlier, where we take our backswing, our knees is just moving forward a little bit inwards and downwards, actually. All right. All right. Now we're going to talk about the downswing. I would like you guys to get into a proper setup position again. So when we get to a proper backswing, we talk about the downswing. I remember earlier I did mention about pushing the hip a little bit towards the left side, which is a slight bump or a slight push. So I would like for you guys to get your bottle and put it inside your right heel. All right, on the downswing, you're going to feel like you're going to push the water bottle down with the inner part of your ankle. So it's going to look like this. Half swing, push through. Okay, so we're going to see that my forearm, or my forearm is actually parallel to the ground. I'm creating this 90, 90 degree angle. My chest is somewhat almost pointing at target already at this point, And my right foot is already off the ground. Okay, so once again, half swing, slight push, get it to 90 degree. And make sure you try to hold this position about three seconds in order to educate the body and the muscle on actually how it's supposed to look, how it's supposed to feel. So for down the line, it's going to look the same. Put the bottom bottle inside your right ankle. Okay, so have a good setup position. We get into a proper back swing. So some people, when we start to, not, when we don't push and we start to turn from the top, as you can see, I won't be able to push the water bottle down, right? I'm just gonna just turn from the top. We're gonna create more of an outside in swing, gonna hit some slide shots or even some cut shots, okay? So just from down the line, it should look like this. Back swing parallel to the ground, push the water bottle down, follow through, make sure the right forearm is parallel to the ground and create a 90 degree angle. Once again, Tee it up when you practice. Make sure you set up properly. Have a water bottle inside your right ankle. Okay. Set up properly. Get the arms, chest turning to it. The right side, right side, right hip is a little bit extended. Arms parallel to the ground. Club in front of your chest and then push through. And then having the right forearm parallel to the ground. Hip and chest facing the target and creating this 90 degree angle. So this will be your half swing. So keep practicing. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and also like or subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which we're gonna do a proper full swing video. And I'll see you guys soon.